Hi everybody, this is Nathalie from La Volière. So today I'm making a video about perch. So this is a very important subject because your bird will spend uh, most of this time uh, in the cage on his perch. So obviously your perch stand up all day, so he's on his perch all day, uh, even in the cage or outside of the cage, he will stand on his feet. So first thing you should uh, look um, to make sure that your bird is healthy it's to look under his feet. If your bird um, have, most of the time it's kind of gray under the, the, the feet, but if your bird have wound uh, beige or pink, uh, that can tell us that he have bumblefoot. Bumblefoot is happening when your bird doesn't have the right perch, um, doesn't have the right um, uh, diameters, or just have one regular perch that you will stand all, all the time the same way on it. So if you find out that your bird has something under his feet, you have to go see your veterinarian um, because it can be harmful for your bird and also it's a good place for the bacteria to come into your body of your uh, in your bird's body. So uh, your bird your veterinarian will have to treat that uh, with maybe with antibiotic uh, cream, that's your veterinarian who will decide uh, for that, but that's the, the first thing you have to look on your bird to make sure that your, the, the, the feet of your bird are healthy. Then we have to look at the perch that uh, your bird have in his cage. So we'll start with the perch in wood, the wood perch. So this is manzanita. Manzanita, it's a hard wood. You can see it's like kind of curvy. So if your bird perch here or he perch there or there, it's not the same diameters, so that's very good for them. It will make them um, do some exercise also, not, not, not always have the same point of pressure on his feet, so that's very good for um, uh, art, 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 uh, arthrite. Um, hmm, sorry, I don't know this word in English. When your bird have problem closing and opening his, uh, his feet, when he get older, that's, uh, that, that will help them also. So that's manzanita. For smaller birds, there's also some perch like that. It's a pine wood, so it's a kind of a more soft wood. For, so for budgies, cockatiel, um, parrotlet, that would be good too. Manzanita also do some perch like this. So it's less curvy. It's more like kind of uh, all the same diameters on the, on the perch. But if you want to have one more curvy, it's one that multi, we call that Manzanilla multi, so it's two, three per two, three branch on the perch. There's also the Java perch, so you can see that it's much bigger than the Manzanilla. Manzanita, it's right here, so you can see the difference. Java tree, it's a coffee tree uh, from Indonesia. Uh, this tree will give coffee beans uh, until 30, 35 years. When the tree is about this age, it won't give um, uh, coffee beans anymore. So they will cut it and do some other stuff with it. So that's why we have those trees uh, for our bird. It's a very hard wood. So for bigger birds like macaws, um, Amazon, it's a good choice. Uh, most of the time they won't break it. They can chew at, at it, but they won't break it. So it's a very good uh, choice for them. Okay, then we have some perch like this one. I call them foraging perch. So it's a wood perch, but your bird can play with things on it. Like in the, in the wild, your bird uh, will have some branch. Um, there's no paper on it, of course, but it doesn't have any toys neither. This toys, it's the perch and the leaves, so they can play with it and they really like it. They really like they really enjoy to uh, destroy the perch. So that's why he's doing that in, the, um, in your cage also. So this perch can, um, can be very funny for them. So there's two sides for smaller and bigger birds. There's also this company will do it with paper. So it's kind of uh, more comfortable for your bird to perch on it and you can play and grab at the paper. So it's a very good choice also to put in this cage to uh, entertainment your bird while you are at work. After that, there's the perch like that. So this perch, 
have calcium and uh, B polyene in it. So it's a good uh, supplementation that you can give to um, to your bird. And there's also a flavor. This one it's um, kiwi and lime cookie, kiwi and lime. So uh, your bird can chew at it, and it will receive some uh, calcium by the same time, and uh, it will entertain him. Uh, also, it's kind of a perch with a toy included in it. So there's three sized, so that's the small and that's the large. Also for the nails of your birds, there's some perch like that. So that's the safety perch, we call that safety perch. You can see here that it's more um, abrasive. Uh, yeah, it's more uh, ground, it can ground the, the the, the, the nails but here it's more soft so you have to put it that way not that way because we want the feet of your bird to be on the soft side and the nails to be on the, the grind here so this perch um, you don't put it in a place uh, in the, 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 the cage that your bird will perch too many hours we don't want the bird to sit on it too long so you can put it near the football are uh, near a place that your bird will have to go to go to another place that's a good thing uh, it will help the nails but of course uh, most of the time we need to clip the nails anyway but it can help uh, your bird but very important you put it on this the good like the soft side for the feet and the nails it's on the other side oh yeah there's some comfy perch we call that comfy perch it's cotton perch show you two sides so the comfy perch our cotton perch can be very um, important for your bird to be put in the cage where your bird is sleeping because it's very uh, comfortable you can put it high in the cage um, if let's say like the top of your cage is right there if you put it like that the the, the head of your bird will uh, be at the at the end of the cage that's not a good thing. He needs to to have enough space so he doesn't touch the, 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 the bottom of the, um, the top of the cage while he's sitting on it. Okay, so that's very important. If your bird, you, you can look at your bird and see where he's going to sleep. Uh, most of the time they will already have a, a, a nice place in their cage that where they go sleep. They go sleep in the corner, uh, left corner or in the right corner. So if your bird already sleep in the left corner, you can put this bird in the left corner. Don't ask your bird to change corner to go sleep. He already did a decision. So this bird is very important for that. That's the best bird for the bird to go sleep because when they go to sleep, they will sleep at least eight hours. So they, they'll be on their feet for eight hours without really moving. So they need a very comfortable uh, perch. So that's the best, best choice. You can also use some tablet like that. That's two different tablet. Um, you put it in the cage, you can put it for sleeping also. If your bird likes to go sleep in the bottom of the cage or something, you can sit on it. You can also uh, put it in another place uh, in the cage. The only place I would say don't put it too close is near the food bowl and water bowl because your bird will eat, go sit there, can bring some food there, so you'll always have to clean it up. So, and it's wood, so it's, uh, it's a little bit, you'll need to disinfect it and everything, so it's better to don't put it near the, the food or the water. Also, there's some shower uh, perch. So, that's the way it goes. So there's two models. This one, the Poly and the Zumax, okay? So when you put the perch in uh, your shower, some people would say, I put it in the shower and it uh, fall down and my bird was really scared, so I don't use that anymore. Okay, here's the trick. What you need to do is you can put some vegetable oil on the, um, the sus here. The, um, I don't know in English either. <laughs> and then when you put it in the on the wall of your um, shower, you really need to close the like that. You have to empty the air. So if you just let's say that's the wall, if you just put it like that, see there's air again. If you put it like that, 
there's no air so it will stay there that's very important and once a week it's important to take it off clean it up and put it back because when you take your shower uh, the soap and the shampoo it will go on the wall and it can go between this and the wall so it can uh, link to um, the perch to fall down when your bird is on it and of course your bird can hurt itself uh, also he can be very scared and he doesn't want to go back on the, the shower perch but that's a very uh, nice uh, product to uh, bring your bird in the shower there's also thermal perch so this perch you have to uh, plug it in the electricity don't worry for the wire it's all metal wire so your birds can't uh, chew at it but the thing is uh, at, the, at this time of the year um, in the house at, at night sometime the, the, um, the weather can go down so your bird can have a little bit more um, uh, it can be more cold for them so that's a good way to keep them warm the perch it's um, directly the temperature of the bird's body so you don't have to play with the temperature it's very the good temperature for them and uh, also for older birds that have problem with his feet and everything it can really help when you give your bird a perch like that it's very important to give them the option to go on another perch if they they want to um, so make sure that he have the choice to go on another perch that it's not warm if he wish for and the last perch i want to talk to you sometimes we have some birds that um, we are trying to uh, introduce to us they don't have a uh, hundred percent confident in us and they don't want to come so sometimes we get bit so this perch it's for your safety <laughs> so you see you keep it here with the half coconut your end is protected and your bird will jump on this this part and there's a long way of course if you i'll blow it like that if you your bird go on it and the perch is like that the perch always want the, the bird always want to go uh, higher so it will walk here and go there and can bite your your end so always keep this perch like this so if your bird is there your end is lower it won't go down to go bite you it will stay there because it's higher so that's a perch we have on the boutique and i used to uh, really um use it with my um, breeder maca uh, especially with my maca ma, um, macao uh, in english it's carrot maca uh, jane she didn't really like me and when i need to move her instead of taking her in a, sh in a towel i was taking this bird she knows she step on it and i keep it like that and bring her to uh, the other place i need to bring her so it really helps for birds that uh, doesn't come on her end so that's about it for uh, the perch Another thing I wanted to talk to you is to make sure that the perch are safety and uh, in a good shape all the time. So when you, clip, when you clean the cage of your bird or every day, just make sure, look at your uh, perch. Sometimes birds can chew at it and make it very sharp. So you need to cut it or uh, take a sandpaper to uh, uh, undo it. With cotton perch, after a while, you can see some uh, cotton, uh, cotton yeah, pieces coming out of the plastic thing. Uh, your perch can get um, stuck in it with their nails. There's, their nails can stuck on it. So make sure to look at your perch um, on a regular basis so your bird doesn't uh, get hurt anywhere. Also, um, it's important to give your birds um, fresh and clean perch. So if there is some food because your bird eats and then you, you take his beak and clean it on the, the perch or, or there are some stools, um, it's, it's important to clean it up uh, with a brush. You can put it with a, clean it with a brush. Wood paper can go in the oven. You can put it at um, 200 Fahrenheit for maybe like this sign, maybe 15-20 uh, minutes and then you let it cool down you let it cool down for at least 24 hours because if, if even after a few hours if you touch it so oh, it's not it's not hot anymore it's still hot because you just put your hand for a few minutes your bird will stay on it for hours and the the heat can still come out 
So always make sure at least 24 hours before you give it back to your bird. For the cotton perch, uh, you need to clean it up. Also take off all the food and the stool on it. Then you can let it sit in a solution of uh, Javix. Um, one percent, one uh, part of Javix for 10, per, uh, 10 parts of water. You can let it sit for uh, half an hour, then you take it off. Uh, for this one, it can take days before it's um, all dry. So you have to make sure that it's all dry before you give it back to your bird. So the best thing is to have one um, for replacement and the other one will uh, be uh, for... Uh, <laughs> My dog is... Uh, you see something. So the other one for uh, replacement. So that's all I need to tell you about Perch. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and I will come back for other video later. Thank you. Bye bye.